This is the plaintiff, Phyllis Lanier. She says she and the defendant were in a relationship for nine years, and they split up because he was seeing other women at the same time he was seeing her. He ended up stealing some of her landscaping equipment from her shed. The louse refuses to pay her the $1,488.89 he owes her, and she's suing him for just that today. This is the defendant, Philip. He says he felt he needed more out of life and decided to marry another woman. That's where this whole dispute began. He never took any landscaping equipment. The plaintiff's just trying to cause problems with his new wife. Suing him today is outrageous. And this scorned woman needs to get over it because they're done, done, and done. He's accused of vexing an ex. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Ma'am, the two of you, you lived together for how long? Nine years. We got together, so a date in 2009. We moved together in 2010. Okay, so you had a relationship for, not, for 10 years. Yeah. All right, and then um, you folks broke up, and why did you break up? He's a cheater. Okay. He had other women. They would call all through the night. He carries his phone around to him to the bathroom when he's sleeping and holding it. They're calling, waking me up, and I says, okay, you need to turn your phone off. You're going to have all these women calling. So I would answer really? sometimes. Really? You need to get your buttocks out of my house? That or? too. <laughs> that too. Okay. He got upset, would tell me, you don't be answering my phone. You don't be answering my phone. I said, they don't have your women's calling here at my house. Okay? Right. Okay. So? So you broke up. Now, he, but he left numerous items in your garage, was it, for storage? He left with his fiance, which he sold our puppy to. That's how I guess he met her. But um, he was in a club. He kept saying he had to go away on the weekends and stay in all these days uh, from a Thursday over to a Tuesday every week. I'm like, there's no way no club is going to have you staying all night. People in the club has families. They don't do that. So I knew he was cheating, okay? So we broke wow, up. Wow, you are quite the Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I, okay. I this back so now you've, you've broken up. Back. Let's get past all that. He's a cheater, so, you broke it yeah, up. I'll we let broke you up. So up. he was getting married. I found out from his mom. She posted it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Her son's getting married. And I sent him a Congratulations. I'm going to have everything of yours packed up in your little transit truck. It'll be in the, in the driveway. You can pick it up. And I put the key in there and packed everything up for him. Okay, so okay. hold on. What's a transit truck? Transit truck is those little trucks that little cable people have. They drive around those little trucks, and it has the back opening. Well, okay. they have the equipment. Okay, but did he have a transit truck there? That's called a transit truck. No, right, but you... you but what he did was, what happened was, that was the truck I packed up. He couldn't take the trailer and his ride on more because he didn't have anywhere to put it down at the house him and his fiance are living at. So I said, well, you keep it there. I mean, we remain friends. Okay, so he was allowed to keep what in the... In he the was allowed to keep his ride on more and his puller trailer. And what about the transit truck? The transit truck, he came and got that. Oh, okay. I told him to come get that. All it right, was in my so driveway. then at some point, does he reach out to you and say, I'd like to get my stuff? Yes, he called me. How because... long after your breakup was that? We, we, were, we were still talking as far as friendship. When you say talking, were you friends or talking to get friends. back together? We were friends. Okay. Only friends. Okay. No romance or anything. I got it. He was trying to be an entrepreneur, do business and so forth. Right. So how long after the breakup was my question, did he call to get his stuff? <laughs> he called in, it was March. He called in March 2019. He okay, got when did you break in up? February. We broke up all in 2017, the end of 2017. Okay, so I'm sorry. Are you talking about a year later? Yeah, we broke up. Yeah. Okay, so a year and something later, he calls you and says, can I he get says, my stuff? He says, I need to get my equipment because I'm going to sell it to Mr. Prince. And I says, okay, you can come and get it. The garage door that I have is very hard to open. And it, you really practically break your hand trying to lock it because you got to turn it all the way to lock it and unlock it. So I don't go in the garage. He came over on a Saturday. I had the key. I couldn't open it. He took it. He opened it. We looked inside. There was his equipment. There was my snowmower, and there was my lawn and my other equipment. And then you walked away? I had to go in the house, and I have a dog, but I had to go in the house, and it was cold. And I came out, and I said, Philip, where's the McGarachi? Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll give it back to you. So now... 
He done loaded his stuff up, and I go out the door because I hear the truck start up. I said, wait a minute, you forgot to give me the candy doctor. Oh, no, no, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. So on Wait, his, didn't you see what was on his truck? On his truck, it was not on his truck. It was on, his, on, the, on the trailer was his ride on. That was what's on there, ride on more. So that's supposed to be there. Right, right. So don't forget, he has my key still. He has not returned Why are you it. yelling at me? You're the one no, who let him have your keys. I, 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 see, I, I, I would take the key away, but go ahead. Right. He didn't give me the key. He wouldn't well, give no, me the no, key. Not, he didn't give me the key. He He's not, not leaving my property with my key. Right. You know, that's so, kind of, so all right. In there, so. In I, fact, I wouldn't let an ex, much less an ex that done me wrong, get into my garage to get his stuff without him coming w with a third party. I would make him I find a third party who I was comfortable monitoring, and you know, I just don't understand, but I keep that myself. Yeah, all right, but so go like on. Like I said, we were still friends. Go ahead. It was like, okay. Yeah, okay, so get to the point then. So he still has your key. He still signed my key. I sent him a message asking for my key, and then what happened was I had to go into my garage because I hadn't been in it because he had the key. So I had to find the spare backup that I put up, went in there because I had, was going to have a garage door opener installed because it's so hard. And then? And then I looked and said, oh my God, he done stole my stuff. What did he steal? He stole my snowblower, he stole my lawnmower, and he stole my weed whacker. Okay, now what's your lawnmower look like? My one with the Briggs and Stratton lawnmower, it was red, small. He was, you said a sit-on lawnmower or no, a push? A, no, it's a push lawnmower. It was okay. a push lawnmower. So he could have possibly confuse it for his ride on mower. No way could he have And then the it. snowblower and snowblower. a weed whacker. Yes. All right. Now, do you have receipts for any of them? Yes, I do. Show me the receipts. What's Here's... going on, sir? Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for hurting her. Uh, I never meant to really uh, hurt you. Um, we really had a great relationship throughout the years, Your Honor. Um, but we went separate ways. I wanted more out of life. She was complacent, wanted to stay where she uh, is. And some people are just like that. Um, it's a 20 year difference in our age. 14. And 14? Who's 14. older? 14. I'm the older. I can't go, girl. And so right, I ahead. just wanted some things, and she, I lost her support. Uh, it, it just was, I wanted okay, something. Okay, you else. broke up. All it right. really wasn't a relationship. Did you steal her stuff? No. Okay, no. she thinks you stole her stuff because you're the guy with the key and her stuff is missing. Is she the kind of person who would make up that her stuff is missing? Well, the lawnmower broke. Um, I told her that I was cutting lawn. I used the lawnmower to cut the tree lawns because I couldn't use my riding lawnmower on certain lawns that was small, you know. Um, so I would have to use the small one. And I also we used it for our home as well. Um, and it broke, and, and did you take it that day? And I day? told her, no, it, it had been gone. It was not in the garage Where? when hold she on, was hold there, on. and I told her How that. long had it been gone? It was gone for about two years. Okay, where did it go? It, I scrapped it because okay. it, it, it So you scrapped it while you guys were still together? We weren't together. We were not together. That's okay, so why were like, you using that lawnmower? Because I was cutting lawn. Wh whose lawn were you cutting? Our, the lawn at, at the house that we stayed in, which I really didn't stay there for like four years prior, and uh, customers' lawns. Okay. All right, so go on. What so about the snowblower? So I would come and cut her lawn every week. Okay. Sometimes twice a week. Even after you broke up? It, yeah, even after we broke up. But when you there, say broke up, are you using the term broke up loosely because you're still living there I'm, and staying there? I'm, I'm using the term break up as like friendship break up. Like, I mean, um, we had a relationship, but it was a different relationship. I, I don't understand what... Okay, I'm trying to get at something really simple. Were you living in the house yeah. when you scrapped it or not? Well, no, I was not living at the, in the house. Okay, were you living sometimes in the house when you scrapped sometimes it? Sometimes in the house, yeah, okay. I would go there. So now... Uh, were you, had you left her for the woman you were cheating on, cheating on it, her it with? It was no cheating because You don't we feel it was cheating because you felt like it had, we, we the relationship no had slowly relationship. deteriorated. All right, but in her head, had you left her yet or no? We, we were not involved in any rela physical relationship. All right, here's what I want to know. Where's the snowblower then? That's my snowblower. It's at my home. Okay, now when you say it's your snowblower, is there only one snowblower in question? Yes. What makes it your snowblower? Well, I paid her for it. Um, so who bought it at the store? She put it on her, her Home Depot card, um, and I went out and I would snow blow. This happened about four years ago. You paid her how much for it? What it cost, $1,200. No, no. How much did you pay $1, her for it? $1,200. Say it again. 
Okay. And when you paid her for it, um, did you get any receipt? No, she didn't give me a receipt. Okay. Uh, are you able to prove to me that you paid her for it? No, I can't. I don't okay, have any Okay, because watch this. Did he pay you for it? No, he did not. Okay. Not and a she has the receipt from Home Depot. That's right. So if you paid her for it, I'd like to see some proof that you did. My proof is me telling you. That's all I have. Okay. And then the weed whacker. The weed whacker is mine that I took. Her weed whacker was still in a garage. The weed, the weed eater is still there. No, it's not. It should not. be because it's I bought an Echo. I have an Echo, so I don't. You I don't have bought have an Echo, I but where's a, mine? It should be in the it's garage. Not in the what garage. brand is yours? I weed forgot the name of it. it was well, then how do you know it's missing? The, it's on the receipt. It There's no weed. weed whacker in your garage? It's hanging no, up. It should be. There's no weed whacker in the garage. There's no oh. no lawn equipment in the garage. The other crap you left that you didn't clean out a, is in there. I have a lot of stuff that's yes, left Yes, you have a lot of stuff in there, but no weed whacker. Okay. And I looked through the whole garage. That's because right. once your stuff is out, nothing else was in there. You didn't Here's what I don't get. As much as I'd like to watch this all day. Here's what I don't get. I just don't get how you let an ex in there, and then you're complaining now, and then we were, I mean, we were Yeah, but there's, uh, what if there's like a legitimate dispute about who it belongs to? Don't you want to be the, 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 the master of your own destiny and, you know, right. kind of make sure that nothing that's yours leaves and that Your he doesn't Honor, think something's his? I was stupid. His? I was stupid. I okay. have myself every day, okay? Okay, every, then. I have, every, I have kicked myself every single day because you're trying to help somebody and this is what you get. I try to be nice. He want to have a business. Did I not help you try and get those businesses? No. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Then he wanted me to put my house up for collateral for his 18-wheel truck. No. Yes, you didn't you do did. that, did you? I know. I did okay. not. All right. No, he's got his other, his wife trying to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds like good riddance, right? Good riddance to bad rubbish. Okay. All righty, then. <sighs> and I contacted him numerous times. About it. And I wish you would quit calling my wife. I haven't too. called you or, or your wife. I, I, you know what I think is best is that just you guys not have any more contact. That's like, no, I think that would don't. be good for we everybody. Haven't, we haven't had contact. Yeah. We and you know what I also think is, is best? If you don't want her involved in your new life, then maybe get your garbage out of her house when you move out into your new life. You know what I mean? Because it was really convenient to keep it there in storage all this time. And why? Well, that's not the case. She changed the locks on the doors and she would not give it to me. How, well, why didn't you I call asked the her if I can get the rest because I, I don't have time Wait, for how it. Long, how I don't long have was time your stuff it. in there? It's been there forever. Right, as long that's as my point. You know, it, but no, but you act like time. you don't have... Stop, don't interrupt me. Listen to me. You act like you're powerless to get it. You're not. You could have gotten the stuff out of there, Here's and it the would deal, have been Your a Honor. good idea because there's a lot of bad feelings. Your Honor, I, I chalked it as a loss. That's why I haven't got it. Right. It doesn't matter. To Except me for at this it wasn't point. a loss because a why loss. did she let you in then? You didn't chuck what chuck it mean? up as a loss. Why should I believe that? At one I point, you get... asked for it, and she lets you in to get it. I didn't get it. I don't. It's over with. I left. I it don't behind. know what you're saying. You went to her garage and you took stuff. You're the saying stuff the stuff you took get. is yours. So don't tell me that, ah, oh, there was no way for me. I chalked it up as a loss because at some point you call her, Wait say, can I get in there? And you got in there. I'm talking about the remainder of my stuff that's still there, not that stuff. See, it's still stuff there at the home that's not gotten. That's yeah. mine. You're talking okay, about Okay, well, the, you're right. free to go get that stuff so long as she approves that it's your stuff. All you have to do is call the police and go over there. If you don't want it, so, you, if you're abandoning it, that's up to you. But that's, that's, that's not that's what not I'm doing. talking about. It's a I'm bunch of crap. Stop. I'm talking <laughs> about crap. all the stuff that you had free storage for for a year and a half before no. you bothered yes. to ask for it. Yes. How okay. is it not free storage? Well, well, here's the deal. I put a roof on the house. I put a picket fence around the house. I, I grouted the center I'm blocks. I'm sorry. Okay. This is the house that you were, you were living, living in we there. We all lived there, right. But yeah. I didn't get paid for it. And Why would you get paid for it? Were you paying rent? Were you paying yeah, rent? I paid rent there. Did he pay rent? He paid partial mm -hmm. stuff because he was oh, between jobs. Stop. Okay. And okay. When he but bought, when he bought the fence, no it, is, it, is, the it is ridiculous. We're going to stop he now. The okay. The remnants that. of a nine year relationship aren't going to, we're not going to sit here right. and say who broke a window, who right. ate the salad, exactly. and figure out where people are. I have one case in front of me, and it's this thing with the snowblower. And, you know, the lawnmower, he gives me a very reasonable and believable explanation. But it wasn't broke young. I, I, yeah, I that's not true. Even in your own answer, in, in your complaint. He you, says it was right, broke. Right, I know. And you say he says it was broke a long time ago, too. Right. So and that he was to going me, to no, repair no, it. No, no. Okay. Now it's time for you to stop talking. Okay. Okay. 
Um, but on the snowblower, which you have the receipt for, and he has absolutely no proof of paying you for it, and on the weed whacker, I'm going to find in your favor. Okay. And I'm going to order him to pay you $1,274.89. And let me tell you why. Your answer to this complaint is she's just a woman scorned. Except for that she's a woman who's letting you in there to get your stuff that you asked to get. She couldn't have been more cooperative. She's no, that's angry not now. True. That's not Because she's looking back and saying, how do you do me like this well, after I was pretty good about all this? That's not and true. And then she's angry on her texts. I read all of them because, <laughs> you know, she, her stuff is missing. Now, you say, I've got a legitimate claim to it. I paid it, her for it. That's your defense. The plaintiff has the burden of proving what she's saying, which is the snowblower is gone. She's proven it because you've admitted it. You've got the burden of proof on your defense, which is, no, no, judge. I paid her for it back then. She's mistaken. She's not remembering. You're the one who has the burden of proving that, which you haven't shown. So finding in her favor in the amount of $1,274.89. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the plaintiff prevails. Philip, the defendant's on his way out of the court. You know why you lost? Why? Because you didn't have receipts for that equipment. It's all it good. Helped you. It's all good. Guy's good. Guy's good all the time. Profound right. statement. Thank right. you very much, sir. Very much okay. Sir. You must sign out on your way out of the courtroom. Well, ma'am, Ms. Lehner, you won. Yes, you I You won did. the case. Thank you. you. Get seven, what, $1,274? Yes. Almost everything you were suing for. Almost, yes. But I'm happy with what I got. I really am. So are you going to still see him? Anything no. in your garage now? Or no, he's got stuff in the garage. It, no. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to trash him, put it on the street. <laughs> okay. He said he chucked it up or lost in there, so there's no need for him to come to my house or come looking for anything. I put it on the street. They can take it away. It's garbage anyway. Good enough. Yes. All right. Well, congratulations, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. You I'm had nice receipts, thing. and that was good for you, too. Thank you. Evidence, important, right? Yeah, Doug, receipts are important, but something else is important, that if you are loaning money back and forth between a boyfriend and girlfriend, and I say loaning because it's a loan, you got to get something in writing. It is insane not to, because guess what happens to most relationships eventually? They don't work. So get it in writing. Send them a text saying, um, I was happy to loan you the money. Please pay me back within three months. Something. If you don't do it, it's your fault.